Hello guys, it's Gotta 9 here with yet another oddly placed extra video and of course the legend all you know that. Um, as I said in the last video, I said I was gonna do some preparations for the Red Dragon Cave and it kinda fits in into this extra video. If you remember from recent events, we got inducted into the Thieves Guild and got a Thieves card. And on that card was specific instructions that we never get to read, but the characters do, that allowed the, to unlock red chests, which were basically the blue chests, only they were locked, and the game never told you how to unlock them. And if you remember, there were quite a few that we actually had to skip um, opening over the course of this game. So I'm going to show off all the locations that I haven't shown off already, and, you know, obtain all the red chests and all the items in all the previous towns. And, yeah, let's just get on with the slideshow and whatnot. Our first location is Berg. There are four red chests here that we can pick up. Uh, three of which are in the same area. The fourth one is on its own. Uh, for the first one, go to Ramus's house. And then go to the back room over here, which is supposed to be upstairs, but, like, they render stairs very well and inside this room here we get the magical cane it is it is part of a uh, weapon and armor set for one of our characters however we are lacking uh, the magical cane is pretty much the first item that we can get but it, it, it equips the Mia um, yeah and just measure it against your own stuff second item beat knuckles a more powerful version of the um, knuckle thing that we got from Kyle's room when we stole it <laughs> uh, over here hidden is the sardonyx which is actually the super version of the Ice Dog Tail because it boosts an agility rating by 20. And finally, the Thunder Blade, a more powerful sword that Alex can equip. Very useful if you're lacking power. Yeah. In the Weird Woods, there's actually one chest that we can get. It's a little bit out of the way, so hopefully I won't have to encounter too many monster battles to get to it. Like that one! Anyways, go back to the second area of uh, the ma the weird woods and and uh, look for a hidden tree path is not there is here and you get the earthquake which is actually a very powerful hammer that Jessica can equip. It's her alternate weapon. I I, I kind of explained before. Dragon wings doesn't work. Yeah, does escape work? What? Ah, uh, hold on. In safe, there is only one red chest here. So the uh, well, yeah, just like the weird woods. It's a lot less uh, useful though because it's 1,500 silver. Yeah. In Moribia, starting in the dock area, there are a total of six red chests that we can get. I'm only going to cover five, and I'll explain why only five. The first one again, Dock Town, has 2,000 silver in it. To get to this house, it's the bottom row, all the way on the right. It's, yeah, see, like, just look at the general location where I am. It's a very easy red chest. Uh, the other ones that we'll be going after are actually all in Mel's mansion, so we'll be heading there next. So enjoy the music until then, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, head towards the, um, Jessica to Mel's room. Like, the personal room, so off this side here. The first chest can be found, uh, I believe, uh, somewhere around here to the left, I think. All the way to the left, even past Mel. Yeah, there it is. 2,000 silver, again. And now the remaining three that we'll be collecting are all inside the tra uh, the training room. Alright, so the first two are really easy to find. They're just right there, sitting right in front. A mental drop heals all MP, and heal drop heals 150 HP. The third one is a little bit hidden. Yeah, you can see it like, right there, coming on the edge of the screen. 3,000 silver. And so, and now I'll be making my way to the next spot. Now, to explain my madness, uh, I said there were six chests, only got five. The sixth chest is found within Ramus's shop. However, it's a very special chest, because right now, if you were to open it up, you would receive an item called the Bunny Suit. Yeah, it's, it's weird. But uh, stat-wise, the Bunny Suit is actually worse than a couple of items. Like, it's even worse than the Cat Ears, from what I've read. So... But what, the reason why you want to ignore this chest is that later on in the game, um, if you do it at a later point, the item will actually change from the bunny suit to something else. And then if you go through a cutscene right after that one item becomes available, you can get that item and a second item, both of which are very good. So until then, leave the chest alone. Bane! 
seen that total of five red chests that we can get here. Technically, four chests, and I'll explain that a little later. The majority of them can be found in the Magic Guild, so we'll head there first. And in fact, three of them are in the same room. Uh, the Great Hall, yeah. Mental Drop, again, heals all MP. 7,000 silver, so a nice load there. And there we go. Heal Drop, heals 150 HP. The next chest is, is the special chest, and I need to figure out how to get there. It's in Mia's room, I know that, and I can't really remember how you get to Mia's room. Uh, this is not the way! <laughs> this is the prison! Yeah, prisoner guy, I want people this made Mia to be tossed in jail. <laughs> uh, it's not safe here, Alex, let's leave. <laughs> Alright, so let's go further down and then to the right. Alright, so back in Mia's room, you want to head all the way back to the left here. And I'm going to be quiet for this little bit here. So yeah, it's a gift I got from my mother. She was so busy with the uh, gills, so I used it to keep myself occupied. So yeah, when you open up this chest, it starts playing a random song that you don't hear anywhere else in the game. So, uh, kind of a cute little trick that they pulled here. So, I'll be quiet again. So, yeah, pretty pleasant song, and it ends as soon as you leave Mia's room. Now, the fifth and final chest that you can get here is located outside the magic, magic Guild to the left. It's behind some trees. Yeah, you hear the trees, yay. There you are. The Dark Sea, which I believe, when equipped, um, ups your resistance by 10. Nanza! There is only one red chest that we can find here. However, there's a lot in the outlying areas, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, what you need to do is go downstairs to the, um, the underground portion of Nanza, and then you want to go all the way south, or do you cut? No, that's just close. Yeah, you go all the way south, and next to one of these beds, you'll find a rainbow sea, which boosts your uh, mental by 10, so it's the opposite of the dark sea. Both of which you could buy in vain if you really wanted to, but yeah. East Nanza Path. There are two red chests we can get here. The first is Cor a Coral Tiara, a good equipable item for Mia and stuff. Or I think it's just Mia, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. And then inside this cave here is the second one, which carries a magic ring. That boosts magic, I guess. <laughs> South Nanza Path. Here is another red, uh, two red chests. Um, you have to do a bit of walking to get to them, though, unfortunately. Uh, how many monster battles am I going to fight before I get to it? <laughs> um, Alright, the first one's supposed to be next to the wall here. Damn monsters. Let's see... Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so the first red chest, the Flame Hammer. Um, yeah, another hammer for Jessica. Powerful one, too. And a Mental Drop, again. All MP heal. Land Village. There's only one red chest here, very useless. <laughs> um, it's supposed to be located right next to the item shop, and this is not the item shop. Where is it? I'm lost. No. There you are. Alright, mental drop. So yeah, another mental, quite a few mental drops. Now, there's one last thing I'm going to do here. Uh, there are two more red chests that we need to get, and I, I'm going to warp to Reza because I actually haven't unlocked the location yet. If you remember uh, from me skipping around here, there was one little area that I said that we weren't ready to visit yet, but technically now we are. It's the spring. Alright, so the spring. Rather obviously, there are two chests. Ooh. Um, an aquamarine. Uh, I forget what that does. <laughs> it's probably an accessory. And Dream Knuckle, a more powerful knuckle for Kyle. Now, the main thing you want to come here for the spring is this guy. Hello, I'm a trading, a traveler, trading, a traveling trader. Blech. So basically, what happens is that kind of with the G G Game Boy Advance uh, connectivity, uh, you'll find one of four random tra uh, traveling traders here, and they'll trade cards with you. Odds are, let's see if I can do any of them. Uh, no, okay. Uh, basically, what happens is whenever you interact with a car like another game pack, uh, basically it'll cause another person to come here, and then you can do more trading. 
And that's pretty much it. But that's all the time I got. This is Guy Christian 9 with Let's Play Winter Legend. Stay tuned next week for the Red Dragon Cave. See you then.